Well, today I'm in Milton, which is on the banks of the West Branch of the Susquehanna. And a beautiful day it is. Milton is a very historic town. There are lots of wonderful buildings to admire, but we're here to admire another aspect. They have got a growing reputation for wall murals, for paintings on the walls. We're gonna go and see and what color it brings to the life of a town. Well, I've managed to call up Rebecca, who knows a bit about these murals. Rebecca, hi. Hi. And this is pretty impressive behind us. Tell us a bit about this mural. This is the first mural I've uh, done in 2008, the first mural of Milton. We call it the Moose Mural. As you can see, it is on the side of the Moose Lodge building, um, a prominent structure, uh, centerpiece of the town. Tell us a little bit about what we're actually depicting in the mural. Uh, it's historical, for sure. It is, uh, tells a lot about the different aspects of culture and uh, the history of the careers that were in town. So I'm looking on the left there, and that obviously is Main Street or High Street, with it looks like a, a trolley there, um, tram or something. Yes, yeah, so that's Front Street, um, which North and South Front Street, that's the street that's all along the, the river that is to our left. And uh, there was, there used to be a trolley tram and uh, that went up and down that street. Moving on, there's a pretty impressive train there, yeah? So yes, that is uh, the train for the Pennsylvania Railroad, and it did used to be for public transit, but now it's only used for freight. And then right in front of there's three men with sort of leather protections around their legs. That's, what, what are they up to? Uh, that, I believe, uh, is to represent the steel industry, the steel mill that used to be prominent in town. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm looking to the right now, and I'm seeing it looks like a canal boat, yeah? That is a good guess. It does say PA Canal on the <laughs> side, so I would say yes. <laughs> And the final part of that mural is the, the two guys cutting a tree down. Yes, so that represents the wood industry that is prominent in town. And they used to cut it down and they would do passage down the Susquehanna River to get Float it where it the needs logs to go. Down, yeah. Yes, Brilliant. exactly. It's a daunting chance to start something like this. So tell us a little bit about the technique of creating murals. Well, I know that uh, for a start, you've got to have a good canvas. Um, you've got to look at the side and make sure that it, the paint will stay. You've got to clear away, do some power washing. Uh, do some masonry work if it's in disrepair. Uh, get everything cleaned up before you apply the primer so that the paint really sticks. You get gotcha. a nice base So the primer is there as a sticking coat yes. to give you a surface Otherwise, to paint on. Otherwise the paint will fall away a lot Peel sooner away, than yeah. you decide, than you would like it to be. And once everything is primed, everything is set up, the design goes up. A couple different artists use different ways. Some still use the old school projection style where they put it up that way. Others use just tape measuring, measure it out from a smaller design to put it on a grander scale. They use outdoor house paint that is already well prepared uh, for external harsh conditions. Designed to last and not be broken down yes. by UV light. But I, I understand some of the artists will use an acrylic paint. Some of them do. Yeah. Yes, so, that, so whether you're using that or you're using the basic acrylic paint that is um, you can put a, um, a protected seal on it, a sealant that uh, will make it last instead of maybe five years, it'll last more t like 10 years good. before it needs so to be touched. Behind up. us, how old is this one? This one uh, was done in 2008. So this wall is pretty high, so you've you, you got to create scaffolding around it to paint it? Scaffolding, yes. Um, sometimes if you're lucky, you can get one of those scissor lifts, but scaffolding is definitely... I'm with you. So, more of a prominent choice. And one great big paintbrush, I imagine. No. no not one great big One can wish. One can <laughs> wish that you paint it like Bob Ross. Um, yeah. But no, it is uh, lots of more artistic brushes, some of various sizes, depending on the areas that you're filling in. So I gather you've got some exciting news about apparently a new creation. We do. We have a new mural coming to Broadway Street. It's going to be right off the corner of Broadway and South Front Street. And it is a lovely, colorful, more modern mural. It, some have said that it looks like a chocolate wrapper. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, right. All the favor of <laughs> The big, uh, big word Milton. And it's a little smaller than the other ones around town so that there's going to be some benches and it's going to be a photo spot. Well, thanks very much, Rebecca. Now we're going to talk to Buzz, who's actually planning to incorporate the murals into the historic walking tour of Milton. It occurred to me that all these murals are on this tour. Okay. So the next map we're going to do will tell you where, what murals you're looking at. One night my wife and I were thinking, we talked about the, the murals and the new one that was going to be going up. And I said, you know, we should do a, a, a poster, the murals of Milton. Like some towns have the doors of Lewisburg or, you know, I'm with you. the, and we're going to have it to sell for, hopefully for the Christmas holiday. It's going to be something you can just roll up and put gotcha. in a tube and send to your friends or whatever. Nice. So. I've got to ask you, because we, we're getting quite a lot of murals here. Yeah. 
Give me your favorite three. Well, I like this newest one here. I love the way the painters are oh, yeah. on it, yeah. <laughs> um, the Capitol Theater, where we all spent a lot of time as kids. One of my other favorites would be this one, which is so big that you can't. So what, uh, what is the mural? These the those, people? Those, no, those are just murals. That's part of the painting. So all, all of this is a yeah. mural? Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, Buzz, good luck with your uh, project. And uh, any of you at home, if you want to come to Milton, pick up one of these guides and go great. for a lovely walk around this very historic Pennsylvania town. So thank you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. <laughs>